Hey YouTube, so it's Sahara Alexandra and I am back with another YouTube video. So I tried to post this video once and it was not posted. So I'm going to do it again. Hopefully it works. This video will be about how to get an apartment at 18. All right, so if you are interested in this video, just keep on watching to know the deets and the details, okay? So let's go ahead and get into, right into this intro before I get to rambling, yeah. Okay y'all, so I just had to move a little bit closer in my ponytail. But anyways guys, so um i do have 10 things on my list i had to go back and type the stuff out because i just couldn't think like i feel like i was just all over the place um so first is you want to make sure that you research your area that you want to move into okay so first thing first for all things is just researching you always want to make sure that you know exactly where you want to move where like you know how far things are from certain places like you know me i know i wanted to move into an area where it was close to hospitals because i wanted to go into the medical field so i know i want to work in the hospital area so i want it to be by you know hospitals and um writing down taking notes about how far the miles are from like certain things and all that um you also want to make sure that you research like the criminal area like the criminal activity in the area and like you know what there are to do like the things to do around the area like you know so you don't have to travel so far and stuff like that. another thing that you want to do when you're researching your apartment complex make sure you write this the apartments like down on your notes or stuff like that so you can keep track of like you know where you want to go tour it and stuff like that which we'll get later on into um you also want to make sure like you are stopping by your apartment complex that you want to tour or like you toured already you want to make sure you're stopping by there at night and stuff like that part of your whole research process okay number two um savings so a lot of people had questions on my TikTok about how much money i've saved to move into my apartment um i just saved like about three thousand three k um honestly like to be real at 18 years old nobody's expecting you to have ten thousand dollars in a bank account like you know unless you're like just this big social media influencer but if you're working like a regular nine to five or whatever the case may be you don't probably are not saving ten thousand dollars like you know you you have a life too you know you are uh you know you just probably graduated high school and there's all this other stuff so nobody's expecting you to have ten thousand dollars in a bank account like at all because i sure enough do not so like i had put in my application and then um my application i have used my paycheck for my job i had just got paid i was like you know what i need to move i gotta move you know it was an urgency like then and there so i had just put in the application with whatever money i got for my job and then after that like during the application process then i had um start saving and all the other stuff so yeah but if you don't you can also save before you put in your application just save at least like first month and second month's rent like that's really about it like that's all you need to do really <laughs> that's all about saving like just just make sure you just save enough for first month rent and your bills and stuff like that your like your lights your water your like your water should be might be built with your rent but make sure you have like your lights and your electricity or gas or whatever turned on and you have money for that for the first and second month okay then number three is touring the apartments okay so make sure like i went and toured like 15 apartments like i did not know like i knew exactly what i wanted to look for in an apartment like you want to make sure like you find an apartment that is fits your need like you know at first i was looking for a two-bedroom because i was supposed to, i was supposed to move in with someone but things change so like you make sure the square footage is what you want like you know the square footage matches the price and all the other stuff like you can find a two bedroom over a thousand square foot under two thousand dollars like you can do it because i definitely found one and in this this apartment that i am now there's a two bedroom for under two thousand dollars and you want to make sure like your countertops are what you want like the color you have like the dining space if you want dining space make sure you have a dining space 
you know, little things that people probably don't think about. Like, you know, if you want an island, make sure you have an island, stuff like that. You know, your washer and dryer are, are in the unit. Um, that was a big thing of new washer and dryer being in the unit. So on the patio balcony area, make sure you're in the view that you want. All of those things come into place and to perspective when you're touring an apartment, okay? So make sure you ask those questions when you are touring. Come to our next topic, asking questions while you're touring. So when you're touring an apartment, make sure you ask questions about like bugs and you know, pest control, like how many times does pest control come? When does pest control come? Your criminal activity complaints, like make sure you're asking about like, are there any criminal, is there any, is there bad criminal history here? Stuff like that. They might not tell you or they might not, they might not be able to tell you, but make sure you are also taking into consideration that you should be doing your own research on the side about these things, you know? Make sure you're asking them about utilities, like does the, are the utilities built with the rent? Are like, are the utilities separate? Stuff like that, okay? Also ask about like noises, noise complaints. Do you have people complain about noise? Are there like, or is it just the people? Like, are there people that are just genuinely loud? Like, you know, just make sure you ask them questions because as being an 18 year old, they might think that you don't know what you're doing or, you know, you don't know what you're getting into. You don't know how to, you know, you don't know how to ask questions and be on your stuff, but make sure you have your list of questions written down in your phone, in your notes somewhere so that you can start memorizing these questions. So when you go to multiple apartments, you already know what questions to ask, you know what I mean? Um, also, another thing about touring, make sure you, the layout is what you want. Like, I remember I went to this one apartment, it looked like we was going in a circle. I'm like, oh, uh, uh like, this is not it. And it was cluttered in there. I don't know, like, it had decorated weird. Like, it had looked cluttered and stuff like that. So, like, make sure, like, the layout is what you want and it's, like, reasonable and to be living in, you know? So, um, yeah, layout, square footage, the price with the square footage, price for what you're getting the amenities make sure you're asking about that the amenities like what are you getting with it can you do you have a 24 access to the 24 hour access to the gym do you have what time the pool close like you know do you have an arcade room do you have a theater room stuff like that like there are the places that have those things and they will tell you or whatever can you run out like the clubhouse area if you're having a party like i was asking all those questions make sure you ask all of those questions when you are going to tour like can you rent this out for a special occasion or how much is it to rent it out if they say yes make sure you ask them how much is it to rent it out you know so you can have those type of things in your mind and stuff like that so that you can also compare them to other apartments complexes okay so then is the application process so once you're done touring and you settle down on like which apartments you want to apply for I personally applied for one apartment. I knew I wanted to get, go to this apartment. I wasn't finna sit here and be jumping around from apartment to apartment applying. So I applied to this one apartment. If you want to apply to two, three apartments, you can, but um, the application fees do get a little expensive. So make sure if you don't, if you're not ready to move right away, just do like one at a time or whatever, you know? So yeah, um, the application process is like for my apartment, I had to put in the application fee. I had an application fee and my security deposit, which was to secure my apartment. Um, and that was $300 in total for my application, just to put in my application. So $300 just to put in my application and the security deposit together, $300. So was that part. And it took about five to seven business days for them to get back to me but because i did apply like around thanksgiving time it took a little bit longer because you know we had to go through some more extra stuff so it took about like two weeks but you know in all reality like in a city like this they should get back to you i would say about seven days me personally i feel like i always get a person like you know businesses like this about seven days but like read on your application um contract like also that's another thing make sure you're reading read everything like i promise you you might have not read everything when you were a teenager like you might have just been signing stuff but like when it comes to stuff like this make sure you know exactly what you're signing like read everything read the fine print read how long they have to get back to you because after that day that they said that they was going to get back to you you make sure you calling up there hey i put in the application you're going to get back to me and on the application fee it says you're going to get back to me within five to seven business days or two to three business days whatever the case may be so make sure that you're reading that stuff so that you know your rights and your you know how long they're supposed to have you know so 
because all that stuff is listed in those applications and stuff like that. About two weeks for my whole application process. Applied on November, I mean, yeah, November 14th, and I didn't get it, I didn't get approved until December 1st, but that was because there was some other things going on. And it was, like I said, it was Thanksgiving and stuff like that. Well, another thing, the next thing is credit. So credit and co-signing, right? So I had a co-signer on my apartment, which is my mom, but you don't have to always have a co-signer. And if you don't have credit, make sure you are asking, this is go along with the touring and stuff like that. Ask if they require credit, because if you don't have credit, they might require extra fee, which are like might be three to hundred, three, three something to $500, maybe. I don't know, I'm not sure. But when I was doing my research, I heard like most people were saying like 300 to $500 extra fee to um apply if you don't have you know if you do have credit some people be like 450 for your um credit and stuff like that like you need to be having at least a 450 credit score you need to have a three six hundred something credit score it depends on where you go when it comes to the application process you also want to make sure that you're making like two to three times the rent because like a lot of places want you to make two to three times the rent unless it's like a luxury high-rise building they might want you to make six times the rent but it all depends on where you go so make sure you are also researching like all of that stuff because all of that like they will let you know about all of this stuff okay especially when you're touring like they might give you a piece of paper with everything your security deposit fees you know pest control fees trash trash fees you know um how much it is for you know all that stuff so make sure you just ask asking about all that so that's the credit co-signing and no credit situation so like if I'm my rent is thirteen ninety five, so they want me to make at least like three thousand dollars a month, which is fine. So, um, yeah. And if you don't know what a cosigner is, it's basically like a cosigner is someone who has a good credit score and like they can vouch for you and like they can. They're basically you know they're just use you're just you don't have credit so you're having someone who has good credit help you get the apartment and they know that you are reliable to pay the rent and stuff like that so that's the whole thing with a co-signer and also there is someone like if you say you do reach the credit score or whatever i don't know if all places do this but i know my place did like say you reach the credit score my minimum criteria you can have someone i forgot what it's called exactly but you can have someone on your thing they don't have to be your co-signer but they can like say like in case of emergency emergency you can't pay your rent or whatever they can be like someone that can pay your rent on whatever but they don't have to be your co-signer you know what i mean so there are like tricks and ways to get like out of like the credit situation but make sure you are also just doing your research because it does play a big factor in choosing your apartment and stuff like that um next thing i want to talk about was number six was moving expenses and stuff like that so i did have to my mom did rent a u-haul because my stuff was in dallas so she did have to bring that so make sure you're taking into consideration if you got to move stuff from like far away u-haul expenses and stuff like that um you know when you're also choosing a u-haul i don't know like if y'all know this, but like, you know, if you're 18, you might, may or may not, but I'm gonna inform you anyways. So like when you're choosing a U-Haul, um, you might have to, you want to take in consideration, are you leaving the truck in the city that you're moving to, or are you taking the truck back and then coming back to the city or whatever can be, because it is fees for those type of things. If you're coming from out of state or out of the city and you're moving to another city, you know, you get, there are fees for that. So make sure you know all of that stuff, okay? Um is groceries um you want to make sure like you at least have like a first month of worth of groceries or like if you're not a person that eats like that then do what you gotta do i don't know groceries is personal so my mom bought my groceries but um i bought everything else mom bought only the groceries like that was the only thing she did for me i bought everything else uh, my bar stools my couch my pillows my decorations everything in here i bought like literally next is um next is um your bills and stuff like that so my bills i did have to get like i did have to pay like a deposit for my lights and gas and stuff to be turned on it was like 40 dollars each 
like you want to take into consideration your bills um deposits and stuff like that like little stuff to get little things turned on okay you want to get you have to get your lights turned on in your name your gas or electricity electricity turned on in your name and stuff like that so all of that pays into part of getting an apartment okay next is your bedding and like you know your your household supplies so if you can bring your bed from home bring your bed from home like i promise you it will save you so much money and you will not have to worry about sleeping on the floor like the first like few weeks or days or whatever you will not have to worry about sleeping on the floor make sure you have your bed make sure you have a toolbox because that was another thing like make sure you have a uh, um, a toolbox and some tape and stuff like that like those are essential stuff that you need when you're moving in a toolbox for sure like your forks your knives um i don't have a toaster and stuff yet but like a toaster like pots and pans like i'm just giving a list of things just in case you might have forgot but like you know um let me think what else like command strips if you want to put up pictures on the wall um air fresheners you know cleaning supplies a toilet plunger a toilet scrubber because i got the toilet scrubber but i forgot the toilet plunger but make sure you get a toilet plunger all of that stuff okay because you know there's a little stuff that you know you might need reminding of because you know you're so used to your parents buying it that you might forget it when you go out to buy it yourself okay a trash can like a trash can for your bathroom a trash can for your kitchen a trash can if, if you want a trash can for your bedroom i have a tr trash room in every room but yeah make sure you have laundry detergent laundry softener if you use softener um dryer sheets if you use dryer sheets all of those things are optional but they're a necessity you know it makes it just makes your living space just feel better um what else can i say wi-fi make sure you have a wi-fi router and modem um if you're if you you know if you do you do decide that or wi-fi router and a modem um what else do you have a t if you have a tv that you're bringing from home make sure you have a tv mount if you if you are mounting a tv if you're not just make sure you have somewhere to put the tv on a tv stand or whatever um all of that stuff you know what i mean so then you have your cleaning supplies and all of that stuff um I think that was really it. I it, my process of moving in, it wasn't that hard at all. Like it wasn't, but I just kn knew what I wanted and I got it done. So make sure you know what you want and make sure you have a plan. And if you have a plan, I promise you everything will fall into place. And make sure you pray on about everything. Make sure you pray on it. Make sure you, yeah. So another thing is furniture. If you could buy your furniture right in there, make sure you could just go ahead and buy your furniture. There's no point of sitting on the floor, sitting, you know, if, but if you're not able to, okay, I understand. But if you're able to buy the furniture, buy your couch, go to Amazon. We're only 18 years old. It's not like we won't have, like, if you're a one bedroom, one bath, just buy a little $500 small couch like I got right here. <laughs> there ain't gonna be nobody in this apartment but me. So you just, just get you a little couch for a show and get you some if you have an island get you some cheap little bar stools i got like my bar stools was four for like 120 dollars 150 dollars and for compared to like having to pay like 80 dollars for each bar stool you know what i mean so um make sure you're budgeting and you know because your parent you might be used to your parents handing you everything you know it's okay to use the dollar general brand or the go to dollar general or it's okay to use the walmart brand great value you know it's okay it's, it's okay to you know the budget and stuff like that and still look good on the budget because like my couch was not expensive at all but it can pull out into a bed it can hold like you know little um blankets and stuff under here all for 500 like 500 dollars okay and i got my nice little um coffee table a hundred something dollars like and these little tables on the side from Dollar General, and it came with two, and I got them because there's no like there's you're only living by yourself. Hopefully, um, if you're living if you are living by yourself, but um, another thing, roommates. If you can get a roommate, get your roommate. But if you're moving out and you want to live by yourself, this is the video for you. But if you want to get a roommate to like make your rent cheaper, do so. Like that's good. But if you have a roommate like in a actual like 
um, apartment, get you like a roommate agreement, something that you could sign, like make you a contract or whatever so that you all have a clear understanding of like what you can and cannot touch. Like, you know what I mean? So yeah that's pretty much it for this video and i really hope it was very helpful to you guys and if y'all have any more questions just let me know because i will be gladly to answer them um i said i'm gonna go through the steps again research say tour um apply 30 to 60 days before your um move-in day that you want to move in 30 to 60 days save about 3k your first month and your second month's rent you if you don't have credit make sure you ask about credit um extra credit fees and extra no credit fees you can get a co-signer use your parent as a co-signer moving expensive like make sure you for your you think about a u-haul truck stuff like that make sure you have a grocery a grocery list in your notes about what you eat and what you don't eat you know water bottle juices kool-aid packets stuff like that seasonings um meats vegetables cheese dairy milk you know stuff like that put that in your grocery list like you know furniture beds it would take as much as you can from your parents house as possible like your beds your dressers stuff like number nine cleaning supplies make sure you have your cleaning supplies so you can clean up a mop a broom a mop bucket um a toilet plunger stuff like that um a toolbox a uh, first aid kit some tylenol medicine stuff like that you know what i mean so steps to take after enjoy and relax in your new apartment okay good girl you you in there okay it for this video make sure you like comment and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos and if you have any more questions make sure to do not hesitate to leave them in the description box below because i am good and i'm gladly proud to answer y'all questions i love answering y'all questions so just make sure you watch the video all the way through like comment subscribe in the next video and make sure you watch my last video which is my apartment tour okay so i'm trying to give y'all new content new all that all 2023 we trying to get this we trying to get to 1k we trying to get to 1k subscribers okay so make sure y'all subscribe and if y'all want to see me again all right so i'll see y'all in the next video bye, -bye.